Okay, um, in this video, I want to show you how we can uh, make the content modules uh, element that is the actual content area and the sidebar have the same height. Uh, this is iThemes Builder drafted child theme that is currently active. And on the home page, currently there are two posts, and the sidebar is longer than the content area. And when I go to say this post, uh, you can see that uh, the element or the actual content area is longer than the sidebar. Uh, so if um, if the theme were looking simpler in the sense there is no separation between the element and the sidebar, uh, then this is a very simple solution to that in the sense that you can um, you know just use uh, just take a screenshot of this page and use Photoshop to cut a one pixel high image going from um, this edge to this edge over here ensuring that there is no text appearing in that image and you would you would set that as the background of the uh, builder module content and have it um, vertically repeat so it just fills the entire content module and it would appear as if um, you know both the element and sidebar are having the same height but that that method wouldn't work here in this case uh, mainly because of the uh, borders around the element you can see there's a left border here there's a right border here and you can see there is a box shadow uh, which is appearing on the right side of the element so because of these things we cannot use the uh, repeating background method so what we can do instead is to use jQuery and uh, let me show you that jQuery so here uh, it essentially says uh, the first line here says that when the uh, dynamic object model that is all the entire web page is loaded then uh, it is going to get the height of the content modules element so the actual content portion this is the element so it is going to get the height of that and it is also going to get the height of the sidebar okay this and this then it is going to do uh, comparison between those two and put the highest value in a variable called highest call so in this case uh, whatever is the height of the element is going to be kept in highest call then what we are doing is um, we are setting that value as the height of um, element and sidebar so essentially we are getting whichever is the tallest we are setting um, we are putting that value in a variable and we are setting that variable um, value as the height of both these uh, element and sidebar so it's pretty simple and what you have to do is you just have to put this code in a file called it can be anything uh, I just called it equal heights dot js and as you can see here in the path I kept it in the child theme under js folder okay then in functions.php we just enq it essentially we are just calling that um, js file and so this function call we want that function call to happen in the footer that is above the closing body tag so that's why we have got true here this is the value of in underscore footer parameter of the nq script function okay so if I uncomment this that is if I make this active let's see what happens okay nothing at all seemed to happen but when you actually inspect so this is the content module in that we have the element okay and here we have the sidebar okay so the reason why the element and the sidebar do not seem to have the same height is because the element as you can see uh, in the actual 
uh, in the web page it has a padding on all the four sides and that padding adds to the height so we can go into style.css and say for the sidebar or rather element set the top padding to 0 and the bottom padding to 0 so when we do that it's going to be like that yeah so now as you can see uh, the element and the sidebar they actually have the same height uh, but before we do the other things we need to ensure that uh, there is some proper spacing above and below the actual uh, content so if I go inside the element you can see that there is the loop so whatever padding that I have just removed um, I can just add it to that like this okay that looks fine now even though the element has uh, the same height as the uh, I'm sorry even though the sidebar uh, as you can see in the upper portion has the same height as the element it is not appearing so because when you actually go inside you can see that the individual widget background wrappers okay they contain the widgets and uh, these widgets have this uh, green background and since the widgets stop here uh, the sidebar even though is actually till here does not appear to be so because the widget the last widget stops here so what we could do is we could um, copy the background color of the widget and we can set it to the sidebar you know the sidebar which is over here so for the content module inside that there is the sidebar and I'm gonna set a background green background to that so let me save that and refresh okay now you can see that the element and content are having the same height plus they also appear to have the same height because we have set a background for the element but there is one small problem uh, if you if you notice the gap between the element and the sidebar it's kind of uh, less as compared to how it was earlier let me just show it to you so if I comment out this code and refresh notice the gap you see the gap is almost twice but because we set a background for the sidebar uh, the entire sidebar got that background and even the extra space here is filled with that background color so what we could do is uh, let's first see how why the gap is there okay so when I put my mouse over on any widget let's say on this particular widget you can see that there is a in the upper portion there is a yellow vertical uh, bar that you see that is the yellow indicates margin and as you can see this left margin of 0.5 em so that is that gap so if I go to layout you can see here that there is the the 0.5 em computes to 6 pixels so what we could do is we could uncomment this and as you can see the sidebar or let's say sidebar outer wrapper yeah so the sidebar outer wrapper currently has a width of 320 pixels
okay now we can reduce this width by that 6 pixels to make it say 314 and when I refresh yeah it does not work because we got to override with important declaration yeah so now we, we got the separation between these two um, element and the sidebar like how it was earlier yeah so essentially what I did is um, I reduced the width and max width of the sidebar outer wrapper uh, by the gap that was there before and because we added a background to the sidebar that gap got uh, covered up so we just I just reduced the width so that uh, that gap is back anyway so most of the CSS that we have written here is uh, the theme specific thing uh, but the most important thing is that um, we have the code in a JS file in which we are essentially getting height of both the uh, element and sidebar and we are comparing these heights and whichever is the highest we are storing that in a variable and um, we are setting heights of both the element and the sidebar to that value so that you know irrespective of whether the content is longer or the sidebar is longer it's gonna look good and depending upon the theme that you use uh, you can write CSS to ensure that um, um, both these things appear to have the same height even though they are the same height they need not appear to be so because the background might not be set so by setting a background we can ensure that they also look to have the same height and do other minor adjustments like how I did over here. Okay, uh, hope you found this helpful. Bye.